when a, a, a company would like to go to and, and develop a drug, uh, you need to find the right uh, place and, and the, with the highest standards. Uh, there are two main players in this field, the FDA, which is the US, and EMA, the European market, which we, uh, we are going to follow, of course, after the FDA, the European uh, uh, approval and authorization. Um, we are strongly believe in a direct communication with the FDA. It started already last year when uh, the company showed already its first results. Uh, we submitted an interact meeting request, which is considered to be pre pre IND and shows, okay, FDA here is what we can you advise us. Um, we got two weeks after we, we submit the letter and answer from the FDA say, okay, uh, please, we don't need this meeting. You have a very strong results. You have sufficient results. And uh, please uh, continue directly to a pre IND. And this is exactly what we did this year. We submit a pre IND request. And uh, it uh, sounds small, but it's uh, a pay and uh, is a document of more than 100 pages covering three aspects, the uh, CMC, chemistry, manufacturing, and control. So what is the product? What is your product? You need to specifically say, what is it? How you control it? How it's validated? How you produce it? Second, what are the data that you can show from the preclinical um, uh, experiments? And this we show, of course, also after several proof of concept. And the third, what are your plans for the clinical stage? And how you want to treat the, um, the patients and how your clinical trial will look like. And, and we got a written response and, and we are going to apply it uh, right away and to the development. Neuroxons is a, a, a company that focuses on neurology mainly. This was our first product. We will continue specialize in this field. And I think there is a huge advantage and many a much bigger indication than in acute spinal cord injury that we can address with a huge market opportunity such as traumatic brain injury, a stroke, and I mean, if we get into these uh, indications with our product or with our, um, for example, XOP10 or other product that we develop, it's a it's a huge market, and I'm fine with this and stay with this because it's challenging enough, um, you know, to find a solution for those indications. I believe that some of the business uh, will go with partnership to other indication, for example, dermatology, ophthalmology, eyes. Um, and oncology, and uh, but this will be probably part of a partnership that we will build in the next one to two years from now. So partnership uh, is a very strong way to, you know, to proceed and develop a company, especially in those the hard time when the interest is so high and you need to really find your uh, your, your niche and how, where you are strong. Um, so partnership can be in the form of uh, having a big pharmaceutical company that would like to get our technology for licensing or, or, or co-develop or another small company that would like our advice and, and loading capability for loading their product into the, their exosomes. Um, partnership is not only scientific, it can be also um, be in a form, okay, we are in Israel, it's a very small country, not in, the, not in the US and not in Europe. So partnership in the, uh, in, in, in getting into a, a, the territory to, to, to put foot on the ground in Europe or in the US 
North America. And this is another way of uh, partnering with another with the company that uh, located in located in those territories.